Hi, I'm Anna. I'm going to be taking you through the machine learning on GPU lesson. Um, this tutorial follows directly from the introduction to machine learning lesson written by Marin Evans. Um, and we're going to explore how to uh, move the machine learning application that you developed during that tutorial onto GPU um, to see what kind of difference we can make in our performance. So the prerequisites for this uh, course are obviously uh, having completed the introduction to machine learning lesson. And if you've done that, uh, you should already have a Kaggle account because we're also going to be working on Kaggle. Um, if you ha haven't created a Kaggle account, um, you can follow the setup instructions at the beginning of the introduction to machine learning lesson um, and create one following those steps. Um, you should also have some basic Python knowledge, but if you have already completed the ML lesson, then you should be well on your way um, in that sense. Um, if you uh, do want to uh, hone your skills a little bit more before starting this lesson, you can do that using, for example, the software carpentry programming with Python lesson. So why do we want to do machine learning on GPU? Well, for physicists who are working on analysis in data intensive fields like particle physics or astronomy or other areas, then it's quite common to use machine learning applications to do data analysis and in particular to develop new machine learning applications. Um, but one of the things that you'll discover quite quickly when you're developing these applications is that often doing machine learning can be extremely compute intensive um, and hence rather slow. Um, and in particular, you'll find that if you're using large neural networks um, and trying to train uh, many thousands or potentially millions of learnable parameters. So the aim of this lesson is to demonstrate how to move an existing machine learning model onto a GPU. And we're going to be using the, the model that you built during the introduction to machine learning lesson for this purpose. And we're also going to discuss some of the common issues that come up when you are using machine learning applications on GPUs, um, including considering whether it's actually worth moving your model onto a GPU or whether you'd be better off sticking with the CPU. So the skills we're going to focus on are understanding a bit about GPUs, what they are, how they're different from CPUs, um, developing our Python and PyTorch skills um, in order to use um, those tools to discover what kind of GPUs might be available to you and how to access them. Um, and then obviously the skills that we need to move our machine learning model onto the GPU and then also comparing the performance of that model between the CPU and the GPU. As with the introduction to machine learning lesson, um, this uh, lesson is part of the HSF training set, um, but it is in a uh, beta version. So if you do have feedback, please let us know. And you will often notice that the um, Although I'm showing you the website in the background here, there may be differences between this and the page that you're actually looking at in your browser because that feedback is used to continually update um, the, the page itself. So uh, how is the lesson structured? Well, in each section, there's a video provided at the top of the page to help guide you through the steps. Um, for the introduction section, which is the only section in this lesson which has no actual coding, the video is simply going to take you through the text. So if you just want to read that page or if you just want to listen to the video, if you want to combine them together, use the material however you uh, find most, most useful. Um, for all of the other sections where there is coding involved, then the videos will take you through the coding live. Um, so uh, the lesson itself is broken up into about six or seven pieces. In total, it should probably take you about two and a half hours um, depending on your level of experience and uh, how quickly you're able to get started. Um, so for everyone who's already completed the intro to ML lesson, you should already be uh, quite familiar with Kaggle. You might not consider yourself an expert yet, um, but you should be able to run a notebook on Kaggle and you should have an account set up. Um, and if you've been running the, the Higgs boson notebook, which looks should look something like this at the moment. Now you've finished the full intro to ML uh, session. Um, the one extra thing you need to do before um, commencing the, the machine learning on GPU lesson is, of course, to activate the GPU um, in Kaggle. Now, your Kaggle account isn't automatically activated for the GPU. Um, you need to select it here on the right hand side where it says accelerator. 
And if you just click there, you should see uh, the option of using a GPU or in fact a, a tensor processing unit, uh, even fancier. Um, and if you select GPU, it will give you a warning or if you have not previously used the GPU, it may also ask you for your phone number in order to provide you with an activation code. Um, so um, you'll need to activate your um, authorized phone number within your, your account in order to, to use the GPU, at which point you can just click turn on GPU and our notebook is now enabled for the GPU. I'd just like to finish this uh, brief overview by saying thank you to uh, Mayor and Evans for writing such a nice introduction to ML for this lesson to follow from. Um, and also thank you to Alessandra Forti, who organised the first workshop where this lesson was run. And of course, thanks to the HSF team, in particular Sam and Killian and everyone else who helped me get this lesson up and running. Um, and finally, um, a thank you in advance to the tutors who will help you through the different steps of the lesson.